We got a big cool down coming today in the first alert forecast. Um, many of those inland locations that were at or near 100 yesterday, Livermore, that's you, you're going to be in the upper 80s today. It's a big drop if you're inland. And you can kind of see the reason we're going to start the cool down if we come back over the hill and take a look at the South Bay, that's San Jose down there. We're looking at Santa Clara Valley. This is from the mountains on the west side of the valley. We're looking out across it. It's hazy, but downtown San Jose is out there. But look at the beautiful deck of stratus cloud there, just reflecting the sunlight off the very top of it. That's more than we had here yesterday. A little bit more of an onshore surge this morning. It's not a total gray out. In fact, we can watch it in the time lapse from our camera on top of the Salesforce Tower. Sunrise is going to come up right there just a few minutes ago. Happened officially at 630. So some mid-level clouds, a little bit of low-level clouds there, some stratus that's gotten pulled into the bay. And as a result, here's the payoff. The numbers show you how much cooler we're going to be for these six representative spots across the bay today. Livermore's going to be 13 degrees cooler today. So will Concord. Santa Rosa will be 10 degrees cooler. Notice the difference, though, as you get right in towards the part of the bay where you get more of the influence of the onshore. You're not going to cool down as much today because you didn't need to. So it's only going to be two or three degrees cooler today in places like Oakland. San Jose, you might notice that six degree drop. But boy, if you're inland, you really do. Current numbers around 60 now, partly cloudy for some. In fact, I can show you where those clouds are. There's that little patch we were looking at right down here. That camera on the west end of the Santa Clara Valley sits right about here. So we were looking at that little patch. But this is the one that's a little more impressive. It's gotten up through the Carquina Strait. It's going up into Napa Valley. But most other locations are waking up to clear skies. And no matter where the clouds are now, by late morning, they're all gone. We'll have plenty of sunshine today, pretty much Bay Area wide. So daytime highs today. Mid to upper 80s for those warmest inland valleys. Livermore, we already saw that. How about Fremont? Only 78 today. Redwood City will go to 81. San Rafael is going to hit 80. Nevada will probably be just a couple of degrees above that. Santa Rosa goes to 86 and will top out in 75 in Mountain View today. The way we were able to do this is we're getting a little bit of an assist. Had the marine layer all of a sudden start coming on shore a little more today? A little bit of help from that little spin in the clouds. Weak little area of low pressure. There is rain in that, but the rain's not coming here. What we care about is the influence it had on developing a little bit more of an onshore. Now, this only lasts today because tomorrow we're going to warm up on Monday. So it worked out great for the second half of the weekend. You're not going to notice a big warm up if you're in the Bay. San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, there's virtually no change here over the next seven days. Although Oakland, you may notice a subtle warm up tomorrow as you go back up to near 80. But here's where you really notice that change. Mid 80s today, inland valleys. Mid-90s tomorrow. So Monday, we're going back to some heat. Won't be as hot as yesterday, but it will be noticeably warmer tomorrow. And then we'll gradually bring the numbers back down to pretty much average, which is upper 80s, right around 90 for some of those warmer inland valleys. That's pretty much the way the next seven days go, Devin. So a couple areas kind of flirting with almost 100, just a few degrees below tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much right on that line, but it does get better. Crank up the AC. Yeah. All right, thank you.